happen while on live. You okay? Hmm. Who was wrong? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got something you want to say? Right. I don't know. I just read your phone. Why did you read my phone? Oh, yeah. Why? You got something you want to say? I don't have nothing to say, but why is you in my phone? Because I see it. That's what I'm saying. I see you talk about me, though. Why is you in my phone, though? I'm not understanding. Okay, but I, I'm confused. I'm not paying to look at my phone. I'm paying well, I seen my it. hair. I seen it. You ain't seen nothing. You gonna finish? You gonna finish? Yeah. What you got me in your head? I'm confused. I didn't say nothing about you. This this is about somebody else. Mm. Not about you. You said Mind your business. Yeah, I go to different braiders. Mm. You're one of the braiders that I go to. I go to different ones. This wasn't about you, though. I don't blame the hairdresser for being in your phone and you texting. I'm from the hood. It's that'll go to the barbershop, get their hair cut while setting the barber up to get robbed after they leave. So, yeah, I'll be in your phone. Who you talking to? What y'all talking about? On top of that, talking about your braider while they're in your hair over your shoulder is diabolical. Matter of fact, it ain't even diabolical. It's short bus worthy. I ain't gonna say the R word. It's short bus worthy. Would you date someone who doesn't give head? Honestly, yes. Because I like to give than receive. I like to see my partner getting off because that turns me on. So I really don't care to receive anything. Okay, how much should a guy spend on a wedding ring? I may sound crazy, but I don't really care about money. I feel like if a guy wants to marry me, that's within. It doesn't matter what he buys me. I mean, of course, I wouldn't want, like, something that's $10. But even if it's Pandora, I still wouldn't matter. It's the thought that matters for me. Would you date someone? Where's she at? Where's she at? I don't even know who she is. <laughs> Wow. It be so refreshing to hear ladies speak like that. It don't matter how much the ring costs. It's the thought that counts. Then she says she's a pleaser. She is a pleaser. Oh, my Jesus. Any of y'all heifers is mad is because you a pillow princess. We don't like y'all pillow princesses. Motherfucker laying there like a goddamn cardboard. Y'all ever seen the show Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Some of y'all be laying there like plank. If you seen Ed, Ed, and Eddie, you know who Plank is. I'm pretty sure I was assaulted at the nail shop the other day. I don't know if there's a such thing as an innocent assault, but yeah, I was assaulted. An innocent and, assault. And it made me think about it because I got to go back to the nail shop and get my nail fixed. And I'm like, yo, this lady was on me hard yesterday. So first of all, she did an amazing job on my feet. So maybe that's why I ain't mine. But anyways, I'm sitting in the chair or whatever, and she pretty much almost done with my pedicure, and the lady was doing my nails at the same time. So, like, right at the end, she literally, like, looked at my thighs, and she said, oh, nice, nice nails. <laughs> and then she took her hand and caressed my whole thigh with her hand. She was like, oh, I know you get lots of compliments. It's nice, nice. Lady, first of all, appreciate you. Thank you. But I know you ain't just take your motherfucking... She is wild, bro. But yeah, she did a fire-ass job on my feet, though. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm thinking about going to tour vans. I want to go get a van, and I want to remodel the whole van myself. And I'm thinking about going to the dealership today to go look at some vans. What y'all think? I don't know if any of y'all have ever been around Vietnamese people, but my favorite group of Asian people are Vietnamese people. I used to work with a lot of Vietnamese, and... They are funny as hell. There's this lady that I used to work at my job named Ann. I don't know what type of conversation we was having, bro. But the topic got on, hey, Ann, have you ever been with a black man? Now, mind you, Ann is like 55, 56. She was older. She said, I don't boom boom no black man. No, no boom boom. No boom boom. So I'm like, why? Why not? What's wrong with a black man? She said, no, a black man too big. I too small. I too small for a black man. No boom boom. <laughs> Look at this well, like, here. I, I, it's a real precarious position I got myself in, and I'm like, I taped this mouth shut, and four guys put them on my lap, and we untaped it, and I was like, okay, let's get this video, and I'm like, all right, guys, well, you know, this gator's like, blah, 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 and then I'm like, all right, get him out of here. It's not like that. Like, I can do whatever I want to him. It's not, he's not going to bite me. It's not like that. People say, well, you got to be really careful getting off of him. Yeah, no, I don't. I can just stand up, and he'll get off of me. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, the biggest thing is he trusts me. Oh, God, I have mercy. 
How you know he trusts you? He told you that? You speak Gator? I've seen videos with motherfuckers that have been training them Gators from since the Gator came out the Gator. Do they come in shells? I don't even know if they come out of shells, but from since the Gator hatched out the shell, man's been taking care of that. And one day, that motherfucker get a taste for that flesh and rip his arm off. Tell y'all, boy, white folks is fearless, man. It's not about me trusting him. It's him trusting Once you get you can do whatever. It's it's really like Terry from the Dragonwood Conservatory. He's working with gators and crocodiles and, and caiman and stuff longer than I have. And he's got a false gharial or a bunch of uh, crocodilians that he considers bite-proof. Like you can't get them to bite you. That's how Zeus is. Unless I put a piece of chicken here and slap him in the face with it, he's not going to bite me. Somebody in the comment like, yeah, keep waving your hands around, see what happens. This is what's going to happen. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Um, this is not like I'm, I'm sitting here like tense and I'm like, I'm worried. That this, it's not like that at all. This is, this is a sweet. He kissing him. He's not going to do anything. What the fuck? There's not that love here, but there's zero fear and zero chance he sees me as food. That's not on the table. We had one fight in our life and I put him in the back of my truck that day. So he doesn't think he can even beat me. I fully got in a situation. I don't. I can just push him away with my face because he's a puppy dog. And I can just get him off of me. Can you get your carcass off of me? You gotta be really careful. No, you don't. I can start dropping elbows on him right now. He's a sweetheart. There's nothing here. There's no, it's nothing brave about what I'm doing. There's no aggression. There's no anything. He's just another, like, I'm, I'm just another gator in the pit to him. If you don't attack each other, they're gonna attack me. Um, there's no, there's no purpose. They're more apt, like, this is not an exaggeration by any stretch. They're more apt to eat each other than me. This man said they're more apt to eat each other than me. They must know you got that nasty meat, bro. Pause. That's the only way I could think about it. They must have tasted you before and know you na you taste nasty. Pause. God damn. Ugh. Next video, because this shit got me speaking all messed up. We're Arab. Of course we don't buy Starbucks. We're Arab. Of course we're going to end up marrying an Arab. We're Arab. When we say inshallah, it means no. We're Arab. We don't know whether to be happy or scared if our baba doesn't call us past 7 p.m. We're Arab. Of course we're going to be late. We're Arab. We're so loud that people think we're yelling. We're Arab. We either love or hate Bamiya. We're Arab. 20 minutes after our dad yells at us, he's going to go upstairs and give us money for shopping. We're Arab. We're going to fight over the bill. We're Arab. We're going to end the combo with yellow bye. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna put y'all on a little secret. Taking down an Arab woman was on my bucket list. I'm, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. I know somebody who took down some Arab cheeks. And, um, he gave it a good rating. Oh. I ain't gonna, mm -mm, I ain't gonna say it. I, I was finna say something. Oh, nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Some of y'all may not even watch sports, but nah, nah, nah. You do that to me, you gotta see me in the parking lot. This look like a 35 and up league. Why is he there? Imagine you had a stressful work week, looking forward to playing in your little men's league game, 35 and up, and somebody bring their badass son. So Layla, I have bought your domain. Mm. Now you might ask, what does that mean, Kai? It means every time somebody types in Kiara Rush, mm -hmm. anytime somebody types in Layla Red, mm -hmm. the first website that they will click on is all the lies you've told me, all the crimes you've done, all the dumb shit you just put yourself in to fuck up your life. So no, your OF link won't pop up first. No, 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 no. No, Pornhub or anything like that won't pop up first. Oh, no, 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 no. The top link will be Kiara Rush, okay? Showing everything that you've done, okay? And you made a mistake with me. Now, I know you don't understand the streaming world. And I know, I know you don't understand what's about to happen. But you wanted your attention. 
So I've seen this particular clip before, but actually I've seen the whole stream. And I was going to do a video on the whole stream and I just didn't get around to it. I still might do it. But basically, to sum it up, this young lady tried to blackmail this young man. If you don't know who this young man is, this is Kasanat. Kasanat is one of the biggest streamers in 2024. This young lady claimed that Kasanat sent her $5,000 to get the kitty. Apparently, she was trying to get more money and he wasn't with it. So she decided to expose him. Took pictures of him laying down. I, I don't even know if she took naked pictures of him. I ain't, you know, I ain't go that deep. But he definitely got some good people in his corner because what he was able to do and how he was able to come back from that is crazy. And he pretty much exposed her for being the snake that she is. It's sad that when you have money, you have to deal with stuff like that. I don't think I want to be this big. I don't want these type of problems. I don't want these type of issues. Even now with my little YouTube following, I've noticed certain things that people do that rub me the wrong way. And I'm not going to lie, bro. You rub me the wrong way. I'm quick to cut you off. You feel what I'm saying? I match energy. If I feel as though your energy is off, I'm not, I'm not going to fuck with you. Simply because, bro, you just don't know. You don't know what type of intentions people have for you. Is that a snake? Oh, nah. Hey, bro. I... Pop, 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 pop. What? I ain't even mean to, to do that just now, but like the way I'm petrified of snakes. I apologize. I might cut it out the video. But I, I live in Georgia. This is legal. And I'm inside my house. So stop. Are you trying to get on YouTube? Because it's legal. I don't got no felonies. I could do that. But yeah, bro. I'm so scared of snakes, bro. I am definitely airing that shit out.